calendar 2019 launch turned up loud. May I tell you? And it's it's fitting for a king. Yahweh Manila, it's fitting, really, because he's so giving of himself. So for all of you to come through and really present in this particular way, speakers and musicians and singers, players of instruments, and all of you, it's really a joy, really a joy. So at this time, I hope you're, you're full joying your, your, your finger food. Are you full joying sampling styling? <laughs> the festival and the fish and the chicken and they also have um, stir fried vegetables for those vegans. Yeah. So you don't worry about it. They Vegan. And chef by the great Java man. I tell you, he is just so multifaceted. <laughs> not the chicken. Not the chicken. Not the chicken. Not the fish. Blaze so fire upon chicken. Blaze so fire upon fish. I'm going to ask you to welcome the man of the moment who will give his vote of thanks. All right, so we want all know who are down the vibes so you can hear what this goodly man has to say who we're celebrating today with his awesome, awesome reggae calendar 2019. Yeah, what a journey, eh? All right, give thanks. Love them. Love the energy, love the vibes, you know, the musician, everything, you know, you can walk and get a good feeling, get a good feeling, you know, um, the people that speak up here, I have a personal connection with them, you know, personal, when we say personal, it's a bond, you know, take for example, Juice TV, yeah. they're right. No fish, no, no. He's no. like the chairman of the board in my head. <laughs> you know what I mean? I always try to bump something out of him to get his impact, his impression, his, his vibes. So he's my point to man when I need that kind of direction in things that I'm doing. Now, Barbara Blake kind of is someone I have always admired coming up doing my work. And to see at this point in time, she's on a function like this that has to do with me. So I give thanks. Now, Brother Dennis Howard, there's two impressions in my mind of you. The party that you gave when you got your PhD and the birthday party. I don't remember what year that was, it was October. But I didn't attend that party, I told myself, I didn't go to any Christmas party. That party was good enough for me. And Namba was there, the band was playing at the lot. And it was such an extraordinary party, you know what I mean? It just stays in my mind up until now. There's another incident with Doc. Is at the uh, Prince Buster um, celebration of life. I was walking up the step when I had on a, a suit jacket, a jacket. And Brother Dennis pulled me over and said, "Come here, Java. You don't see you have a tag on your good jacket." Yes, and he took his okay, time to take off the tap. I no, said, I okay, know. you're okay now. And I got a feeling okay. like it was a big brother okay, and what's the looking out for his brother. Yeah, and the third part of it, he's always saying, Java, what are you going to write down? Always that. Uh, okay. yes. What are you going to write down? Yeah. 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 Encouraging me along the way. Thank you. Yeah, give thanks you know, for you. that uh, encouragement. Yes, give thanks vegan. for your presence. Because Festival. it's so important to me. I still see myself as a little kid. Princess Ghana. Not the pack. Yeah. Sure. It's and real, right, when not the pack on coconut. Real, real. The bread 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 bread. Bread. That's why I said, Java don't know what he has. It's a big thing. I guess if you ask me, I really don't want to know what that is. 
No, I've heard of it. I just want to keep Nobody on doing my work. No. I'm afraid okay. if I know what Probably I am, I'm going to get Facebook. carried away. I'm going to get so Which I'm looking up on Google Maps. So it's best that I don't. Look it up on Facebook. And I just keep on doing my work. Just keep all of us work. And sometimes when you think it's difficult, you just say, Jack, why should I go on? And you question it. When you come back out of the chambers of inspiration, and fill you up with so much more inspiration to carry on the work. And that is what has been happening to me over the years. Inspiration of Jack, going into that chambers of inspiration. Because Jack called upon us to deliver the word. Yes. And once you get the calling, you have to carry it out. It's not about money or fame. It's all about the passion. And when you have that passion and working, you don't feel like work. I go out at 4 o'clock in the morning working. And it's like fun. You know what I mean? So what I want to talk about Reggae Canada first is some of the experiences that I have had doing regular calendar and dealing with people and how phenomenal it is when I put everything in retrospect. So at this point in time, I'm going to bring some references as I go along the way. I've taken plane to England, hosting, selling calendar, rent a car at the airport waiting for me. Actually, buck up into Buckingham Palace. Because I didn't know England, I was just driving around, getting near my places to go. And I'm in the roundabout and I see the guards them standing outside. I said, right, they must be walking out palace. No, I'm waiting until the end. And then I went over a land in the world. All this brings us far like, in school we're always singing about London Bridge. And I look for a real big bridge. Anyway, I went to England twice. I did well here, yeah. went to Canada. Just one second, let me just see. Several this. times just throughout the States, just taking play, have a rent a car What's ready for me. California, Long uh -huh. Beach, uh, big festival. By the time I get off the Sorry, LA airport and I'm reach Long Beach, there's no one there. You're leaving now, Isaac? Like three in the morning, the airport, the parking lot is open. So I get a good parking near to the, 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 the stadium. And that is where they play basketball. I can get around. You can drop me down. And what I would do, I, I would take pictures, put my camera yeah, back no, in I the can car, do it. I just, post I on some camera, calendars, huh? leave me with some else. vendors, oh, right. go back to the pictures in the car. And many a times, oh, um, especially in Long Beach, I couldn't see myself putting the money into a hotel. The little money I'm making. And if I get that off, uh, we have uh, some in my distant no hotel or something. It's problem getting back in, driving and getting back in. And I have this ID in my space. And I'm not afraid to tell anyone. I go in this Chris Hotel downstairs and wash up. I go back in my car, change and everything, and ready for the next day festival. I went to Humboldt County again. Coming out in California, I drive to that sick to get to that festival. Hills and mountain. And when I got there, the rental car light couldn't go off, and everybody sleeping in the car, and the lights shining on people. So I turned the light off, and it was cold, and I spent the whole night in the car. Cold. Next day, I just disconnect the lights. And what amazed me at this festival, they, they, they had to look down on those people. Because then now uh, pick up the phone. So me and me my hand is also you now nah buy no. But you have to fight me down no, because I march up the still as a piano. It makes no sense whatsoever. We get the fight all the time out there. Dread, where you have? Florida, big show. I say calendar. So much, I say ten dollars, you say give me five. I say, you think this is you can't go down and say cheap store and cut the price now? So why you want to come up high price now? Because somewhere sometimes man said, Yo man, I give a donation. He give me say look at how we dress. He thinks that we need donation. So we go through it. We go through it and try to produce a uh, reggae calendar. But at the end of the day, we go through one thing. There's a, this is a philosophy I have. Wherever there's a gathering, there's an artist. Wherever there's a lot of people, somebody's making money. So I don't want to be on a consuming line. I want to be on the production line. 
because a lot of our people are consumers and we need to get more on the production now than just being consumers. So that was part of my thing to say, wherever there's a gathering, there's a harvest. Somebody is harvesting, and I want to be harvesting. So I deal with it from that perspective. Now, um, coming up to this calendar, coming up, I was amazed. I was amazed of the brand because I'm at Rebel Salary, and a white man come over me and said, where have you been? I missed the calendar. Quite a few people remember the calendar. Uh, Copeland just blown me out of the water. Just, just totally blown me out of the water. Just totally. Copeland, he was a man always saying to me, when are you going to print reggae calendar? When are you going to start? Now? And I had a man, when I used to come down from the state, the calendars, Lake Shoe, Far Pro, he used to buy 100 calendars and give to his customers. So I was very excited to go around and say, I'm going to lift you 20 calendars. Plus as Joe and gratitude, you know. As I went to the office, the secretary said, how much you selling this calendar for Java? I said, I told the guy. She's ready to write a check. I couldn't take it because I went there to give it to them free. So I just said to them, give me 10 dollars. And then she went in the shelf with all the car manual books and pulled out five calendars back issues and said, Mr. Lynch, who said to keep these calendars because they don't work a lot of money for it down the road. And that just blew my mind. And, and it's, that's all been going on. I give her a calendar, she said, you're back. You're preserving you know, reggae. It's like they never forgot about reggae calendar. And I, I just find it so amazing. Now, why I started Reggae Calendar is because I felt my people wasn't reading enough. So when I put history in the calendar, I'm giving them a capsule. I'm giving them a pill to take. And oftentimes, when they see the history, it stimulates conversation around that particular point of history. And each one will be putting their pieces in it. And so my way was to give history in a capsule, a pill, so my people can swallow it much easier and quicker. And that's what I started to do at the museum. People get upset when they don't see their pictures, you yeah? I'm gonna tell the story one more time. I don't intend to tell it again. But about 16 years ago, uh, Bojo was in Philadelphia and I gave him a calendar. And he, he didn't see his picture and he got the church down on the ground and said, no, I want it. And I said, Bojo, I didn't have a good picture for you. You say, you have a camera? I say, yeah, you sit down. He said, take a picture. <laughs> so I don't see that as an insult. It's not an insult. It's a compliment. To me, it was a compliment that he wanted to be in the calendar. And people say, what about Raj? Look, as soon as the artists don't see if they can, they can start to raise them. So, with 2019, I've decided to try and incorporate more artists in it. Because if I went to Rebel Salud, I'd pick a good picture out of it. Maybe Lucia and I just put one picture from Rebel Salud. In this particular calendar, you see, I've got a collage of various artists from Rebel Salud, so as to put more people into the calendar. Women's Day, you see a collage of Canon, um, artists in the calendar. Same thing with the Peter Tash cel celebration. And it's, it's a variety of artists in the month. Now one of the particular things I've done with Reggae Calendar, I include the four months of the year before the new year. Like for example now, 2020 coming, you will get four months of 2019. So why I did that was, I used to do the 12 months. And then when I tried to sell it in October, and like, they said, oh, dear, you're not coming yet, we can't buy that. And they would put me off because they said the year not started. So what I did was take one page and had four months of the year going on. So when they see it now and the year not start, they said, but you can still use it. It's functional. You can hang it up anyway and start using And that was able to boost the scene. And they could not tell me that the year not start yet. You see? 
Um, I'm thankful to the uh, announcement fund, the uh, tourist uh, linkage, because I've sent out about seven packages looking for sponsorship. And each package is cost me about seventy eight thousand dollars of how I prepare the packages and color and bio. Um, bio is going to get um, you know, ISIS, you got with my bio. <laughs> but it's very beautiful, look like a magazine because I've interviewed my body. Tochi. <laughs> Tochi. It's like a magazine, and it has a picture with me interviewing Bob. It has a picture with me sitting down with Bob. It has a picture with me and gave a party for Bob. And the little thing about the Bob Marley party, I said to Bob, he was coming in at the night when I was doing something at the club. I said, Bob, will you come through after the show? He said, yes. But knowing all these musicians are, they may get in a room and things are going and they forget about me. So I told the people that Bob is coming and it won't be no charge because I had cover myself because nobody sent me a fraud. So I'm gonna charge that night then. Anyway, the club's normally close at two o'clock. And about one o'clock, pop, people start cussing me. So when Bob there, he said, Baba come and start cussing me and I have to go work. And remember they never pay for coming, you know. So can you imagine them the charge them? So many of them left still, but minutes afterwards somebody called me and said, Bob is outside. When we go this little small man in our long limousine. And they say, Alright, bless the virtue. When Bob, and Bob has the way when he walk in. And he stop, everybody stop. It was like a like, military type of, of movements. And Bob came to the club at the door. So and just and just come in, start dancing. And the girls them start cut, 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 and Bob start dancing for about 20 minutes straight. Everybody just taking turn on the dance floor. And then when he sat down, bringing him fruits and things. And then tell them just how work me in a road to get no picture or nothing like that, you know. Just I try to make a vibe. But when Bob was at the station and I interviewed him. People said to me, Java, I was the end of the interview, but all I was here, click, 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 click. Anybody know what that is? No, man, camera, so much camera, fill up the studio. <laughs> you know? I was even realizing that. But one of the things Bob said to me is that, make sure you tell the people that the truth. And that stay with me. So, um, I've been trying in this thing for a very long time and it's just for the love of it not for the money I just full joy in my work and I'm looking forward to 2020 with greater things and I'm even thinking about maybe at some point we can have a reggae calendar award see that first published 1984 this is really volume 19 the energy, and thank reggae you calendar all very 2019 much for Check out and Java Emmanuel, Best FM. Check the back back one second. Old. Starting with the Africa tree, traffic and everything like that. It's a lot of history in here, guys. But we learn from up. our experience. And we continue yeah. to give Java the strength, the, the praises and the glory. Because without him, we will be nothing. He fulfill our heart and our soul and our mind. And we are not here to be conquered. We are here to conquer. So we give thanks again, blessed love. Hope you enjoy the meal and stick around and play some music and give thanks. Give thanks, Java, to you.